What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, new videos coming every week. Today, I have a very special guest. She's gonna tell us all about the field of pharmacy, while she, why she went into it, and also some tips for pre-pharmacy students out there. Dr. Keller, how are you doing tonight? I am doing well, sir, how are you? I'm doing great, great. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to the uh, viewers out there, out there and tell them uh, who you are. Well, hello, my name is Dr. Brittany Keller. I am a pharmacist here in St. Louis, Missouri. I work for CVS. Um, how I got here, so I went to undergrad in Atlanta at Spelman College. Then I moved to St. Louis to attend St. Louis College of Pharmacy. So that is how I got here in a nutshell. <laughs> got you. Uh, what, was, what was it about pharmacy that got you interested into it? Was it a mentor? Was it a shattering opportunity? Shattering opportunity? What was it about pharmacy that got you interested? Okay. So I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field. I just didn't mm -hmm. quite know which avenue. So at Spelman, we were exposed to several avenues, several practices, um, mm -hmm. just to see what we would like. So I stuck to pharmacy. So I did shadow and I uh, started working at CVS in undergrad. Mm -hmm. I had great mentors there that uh, definitely challenged me and pushed me to go to pharmacy school. Gotcha. Um, and the prereqs for pharmacy school, they're pretty similar to medical school, nursing school. It's, you know, it, is that kind of true? Yeah, for the most part, yes. They're okay. pretty much the same. Uh, prerequisites, definitely your math, uh, chemistry, mm -hmm. biology, uh, those are the core ones. And then, so what I found when I applied to pharmacy school, a lot of the schools have their own separate prereqs that mm -hmm. um, they may be a little random, but just if you're interested in pharmacy, check the school to make sure you check all the boxes. Yeah, that, that's pretty similar how it is for medical school. Uh, for the most part, there's some standard classes that you have to take, and yep. then each school has a, maybe a specific quart, requirements for each school. Uh, is there right. a mission test for pharmacy school? Yes, there is. It is called the PCAT. Oh, uh, I didn't pharmacy know Pharmacy college admission test, yeah. yeah. So um, if you graduate undergrad, you have to take the PCAT. There are some, uh, Straight from high school programs, I I don't think they have to take the PCAT, but definitely if you have an undergraduate degree, you need to take that one. Got you. And before you apply, I know for medical school, um, they're big into research, uh, shadowing um, you know, experiences, and also um, you know, letters of recommendation. Is it pretty similar to what they look for? What, what do the schools look for? Uh, so pretty similar. They're overall looking for a well-rounded student great grades. Um, the research opportunities, that's a plus. It looks great on a resume. Um, I did one at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, which um, I guess was good enough. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, definitely extracurricular activities, grades, research opportunities are great too. Yeah, and once you get into pharmacy school, what, what is the structure like? Um, in medical school, it's the first two years are in the classroom third and fourth years are mostly in the hospital. Is that pretty similar as well? Yeah, so the first three years are in the classroom well, and the okay. last year is doing our rotations. Okay, and so it's four years of pharmacy school and after you can, you graduate from pharmacy school, what's what's the uh, your options kind of after that? Are there fellowships that are available? Can Absolutely. So there are a wide variety of opportunities available. There are fellowships, there are residencies, you can go straight into the workforce, whether it's retail, uh, industry, uh, it, there's a lot of opportunities in pharmacy. Got you. Uh, what is a typical day for you? Kind of starts at what time and ends at what time? How do your days usually look? So currently I work overnights. Oh, really? Yes, I do. Wow. So you're so, ready to go to work tonight? I'm off tonight. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So um, with most companies, when you work overnight as a pharmacist, it's one week on and one week off. Huh. So that's the plus. Yeah. So my nights start at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. So what I usually do is tend to the customers, tend to whatever is left over from the day, mm -hmm. filling prescriptions, typing prescriptions, tidying up. Uh, usually... 
people people come in till about 11, 12 o'clock, and then most mm -hmm. people are asleep. Then after that, I prepare all of the prescriptions for the following day. Mm. So we, I work at a high volume store. So I get all like maintenance medications, scheduled medications. I get those ready for the following day. So the day shift doesn't have to do it. Mm. Yeah. Um, also take um, ER scripts, okay. any acute prescriptions, um, get those filled for the patients. Got you. Um, you know, I know very little about being a pharmacist. Uh, I know I write pres prescriptions for patients, but I don't know what happens after that. Uh, how much of your job is actually like compounding uh, the, the medications or it, most of the medications, they are ready to be uh, filled? Oh, so most of the medications are ready to be filled. Mm -hmm. We do do some compounding at CVS. Um, any advanced compounding, we, um, we don't do that particularly, but uh, say a magic mouthwash, uh, yeah. basic stuff like that. We do do some compounding. Got you. And, and then once you graduate from pharmacy school and you do whatever path you want to take, I know it varies by location and also, you know, your job type, but how much can a pharmacist expect to make once you're, you're done? Once you're done. So what I was told, don't accept a job under 100000 per year. Okay. So that's the average starting point, and then up from there is always great. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Uh, for students who are interested in uh, pharmacy, pre-pharmacy students, what advice would you uh, give for them? Uh, get exposed. Get as much exposure as you can uh, before you enter pharmacy school. So uh, if you want to shadow a pharmacist in your local community, or uh, you can be a pharmacy technician, that's great also. Uh, that would be very, very good. You can also attend conferences if you would mm -hmm. like to get more exposure to all the fields of pharmacy and everything it has to offer. Uh, yeah. That would be good. Okay, awesome. Um, I asked this of all my guests, and it's three questions. You can give a one to two word answer. Um, what is your favorite thing to do outside of medicine? Favorite thing to do outside of medicine, traveling. Traveling? I like to travel. What's yes. your favorite place you've been to or somewhere you really enjoyed recently or in the far? Um, the best place so far would have to be probably – I went to, where did I go? Puerto Rico, actually. Puerto Rico? That was really, really okay. nice. Yeah. I want to see a lot of good things about Puerto Rico. Yeah, very nice. Got you. Um, what is your, what do you enjoy most about being a pharmacist? What I enjoy most? It would have to be the patient interaction. It's limited overnight, but I do work day shifts also. So um, patient interactions, when they, um, have an ailment, a condition that they just found out that they have, telling them about it, how they can treat it, what they need to do at home, how they can uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle. Those are the, uh, the great things that I love about pharmacy. Okay. And what is your favorite food? Oh, ooh. Probably tacos. Taco. I really like tacos. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Dr. Keller, thank you so much for uh, joining me tonight and kind of giving us an insight into your field of being a pharmacist. I appreciate it. Uh, you're going to no, spot a you. lot of people out there that are either interested in going to pharmacy school or currently in pharmacy school. So thank you. Um, yes. If students wanted to reach you, is there a way they can get in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my email address. So uh, that is Keller, K-E-L-L-E-R dot Brittany, B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y at gmail.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. And everyone else out there, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.